NBA legends are among the most admired and revered figures in the history of basketball. Their viewpoints and thoughts have the potential to alter the course of basketball. They have the ability to alter the opinions of fans regarding a specific aspect of basketball and even have the potential to make or break a fan's opinion regarding a particular player. Luka Doncic, a rising star from the NBA's younger generation, is one player who gets a lot of attention from NBA legends. Luka had a very successful beginning to his NBA career. He's already shattered a number of records and has also surpassed everyone's expectations. Therefore, it should come as no surprise that the NBA legends lauds the play of this young Slovenian phenom. Today, we're going to hear the thoughts of some of these NBA greats regarding Luka Doncic. Starting with the GOAT himself, a player who has won multiple three-peats, is a member of the Hall of Fame and the one who patented the mid-range shot. His heirness, Michael Jordan of the Chicago Bulls. He said, quote, a phenomenal player at such a young age. He's demonstrating the skill it takes many guys years to develop. It would be incredible to watch him continue to advance in the league. Big statements made by a big basketball figure. But knowing how competitive Michael Jordan is, it's likely that he held back a little bit so that he could preserve his own legacy. Next up is the logo of the NBA, Mr. Jerry West. One man who doesn't hesitate on giving players their spotlight is Jerry West. When interviewed about his thoughts on Luka, he stated, Look at Dallas. One player transformed them into a playoff team. He'll be the best player Dallas ever had. I have great respect for Nowitzki, but Dirk is not Luka. Everybody wishes they had a 24-year-old who plays like him, and he hasn't even scratched the surface. It's fun to watch genius. He was then asked about what he means by the word genius, in which he replied, I've been around a long time, and I've seen a lot of special players. How many superstars are there in the league at any given time? Maybe five or six? There's a difference between all-stars and superstars. A superstar is different, and that's what he is. Luka definitely deserves the high praise, and Mr. West believes that the young sensation is already one of the NBA's all-time greats. Up next is an NBA legend which is one of the greatest sharpshooters to ever grace the hardwood, and the one who patented the choke celebration, Reggie Miller. When asked about the comparison between NBA legend Larry Bird and Slovenian sensation Luka Doncic, Miller stated, Larry Bird is a straight assassin scorer. He would put 25 on you and a half. He had that killer instinct. Luka had that killer instinct offensively and could pass you the ball. Luka tries to embarrass you, I think. So in terms of who is the closer to Larry Bird, in my opinion, it would be Luka Doncic. When asked, where does Luka rank among the NBA's greatest of all time, Miller said, I'm not surprised. He's into that elite conversation and probably, in a lot of circles, the best point guard in the game at age 20. Speaking of one of the greatest point guards in NBA history, let's hear the thoughts of a member of the Hall of Fame and two-time league MVP, Steve Nash. I think he's maybe the best 20-year-old the NBA has ever seen. The game's a little different than when LeBron James came into the league. The numbers are a little inflated because of the pace and the hand check, but still, I think LeBron was so gifted. But I don't think he was polished as Luka at 20 years old. Now, Luka's never going to be the athlete LeBron is, but he's a great athlete. He's an underrated athlete. He's going to be a Hall of Fame player if he stays healthy, Nash said. When asked about the possibility of Luka surpassing Dirk, Steve Nash responded with this, It's possible, for sure, especially when you look at Dirk at 20. Dirk was amazing at 20 years old, but compared to Luka? Because physically he was catching up, Luka is already there physically. Dirk is a rare thing then. Now it's normal for a guy to come from Europe and be good right away. But Luka is not normal in any way. He has a chance to be better than Dirk, and Dirk is one of the best players we've ever had. That says how incredible of a player and talent Luka is. Another legend who became famous outside the court for his sometimes inaccurate series predictions and opinions that sometimes get into the nerves of other NBA stars is Charles Barkley. In 2019, he's asked about his thoughts about Doncic, and he said that, let me tell you something, that boy Doncic, he's the real deal. As we used to say in my day, that's a bad white boy. I mean, he's not there yet, but we're getting really close to little black kids in the hood wearing his jersey. Real close. It used to be Larry Bird, Steve Nash, Dirk Nowinski, Ginobili, and that was it. Doncic, if he keeps playing like this, we're gonna see his number in the hood. However, despite the high praise that Barkley is giving Luka, it's never forgotten that he's also the one who raised his doubt on Luka prior to the 2018 NBA Rookie Draft. I don't trust foreign competition. I don't have anything against foreign players. I just don't know what kind of competition it is. They're like at 18 years old, he was the MVP. Well, that tells me he was playing against weak competition. Nobody at 18 should be dominating grown men. I don't care how bad the grown men are. You go back and look at the NBA. 
I've been in the NBA for over 30 years. There's one 18 year old that you can go back and say, oh, he's the real deal. And that's LeBron James. People forget, as great as Kobe was, he struggled for the first few years. Kevin Garnett struggled in his first few years. They keep telling me Doncic won MVP at 18. He shouldn't be dominating grown men at 18 for this kid to be dominating. I wouldn't take him with the number one or number two pick in the NBA draft. Looks like Charles Barkley's inaccurate prediction and opinions would haunt him in his basketball media career. In terms of spotting talented young players like Luka Doncic, Greg Popovich, future Hall of Famer and legendary head coach of the San Antonio Spurs, may be able to offer a more in-depth analysis about Luka Doncic's game. According to him, Doncic is a quintessential basketball player. He has an intrinsic feel for the game. He was built for the game. Also, he probably would be a great handball player. But at that size, to have that passing ability, that vision on the court, the confidence he plays with, he shoots the ball well, he competes. He just loves the game of basketball. His skills are top notch, so he's just a joy to watch. As vocal and authentic of a coach Greg Popovich is, he even went far on praising Luka when he compared him with another NBA legend. I hate to say this, he's not Magic Johnson, but it's Magic Johnson-like in the sense that he sees the floor in the same way. He's got a real intuitive sense and you can't teach that. He's just got it and he's great at it. I'm not trying to put Magic Johnson pressure on him. He's not ready for that yet, but he's doing a hell of a job. All praise and respect for the Slovenian wonder boy. But let's ask Magic himself on the thoughts about Luka. Luka Doncic's game-winning three-pointer against the Celtics in 2020-2021 season further proves why he is a once-in-a-lifetime player and an MVP candidate. Magic truly loves and respects Luka, and considering his influence in the Lakers organization, we might see Luka in a purple and gold jersey with Anthony Davis and LeBron James someday. NBA legend and Boston Celtics great Paul The Truth Pierce also shared his thoughts on Luka probably the most skilled player in the NBA. Me and him have a lot in common. No, seriously though. He looks slow, lethargic, but he always gets there to the right spot. He's a better passer, but as far as scoring ability, me and him have a lot in common. I expect special things from him. You talk about a kid who made one of the biggest leaps in recent memory from a rookie of the year to MVP caliber player. He's special and has all the talent. Many people might laugh on Pierce's comments about their similarities, but it's evident that Pierce has nothing but respect to Luka's game. A former NBA player and head coach of the Philadelphia 76ers who is one of the better coaches in today's game, Coach Doc Rivers, also has his fair share of praises on Luka Doncic. He stated, Doncic has the ability to score. He gets to the paint. He's strong and he's an elite passer, so there's no great offense that doesn't start with a great player. And he's a great player. When asked about Luka's nearest NBA player comparison, Rivers replied, Luka to me is a little bit of Larry Bird and Jason Kidd. He has the passing of Jason Kidd, but also has the scoring ability of Larry Bird, and that's what makes him such a difficult cover. I have crazy respect for Doncic as a player. He's a terrific player. I love his toughness. He plays with great joy. It's funny you forget that he's still young. I heard someone say that yesterday, and I thought, wait a minute, it feels like he's been around for a long time already which means that this is truly a sign of Luka's greatness. Another former NBA player who helped Michael Jordan in his second 3P, a coach of one of the most successful dynasties in NBA history and arguably one of the best coaches today, and arguably one of the best coaches today and all time, is Golden State Warriors head coach Steve Kerr. This is what he said about Luka. He's got this James Harden skill set with crossovers and stepbacks. He's a brilliant player and so young, and he's going to be one of the cornerstones of the league for a long time. He's a combination of a lot. James Harden in some ways, obviously the Larry Bird comparison. He has great vision, LeBron-ish. There's a lot of people in him, but I think when he retires, people are going to say he was Luka. Steve also praised Luka's mental toughness inside the hardcourt. For him to be poised and have the confident and the cockiness, kind of like swagger that he has at his age, in his career is very, very rare. You know, he's got this incredible knack for seeing the floor and being a step ahead. He reminds me a little bit of Larry Bird in that regard. He's kind of one step ahead in the chess match. It's clear that in the young NBA career of Luka, he has gained that respect of not only today's NBA players, but also the respect of praises of NBA legends. After all, he's a rare and gifted basketball player. Once he decides to hang his jersey, he'll be remembered to be one of the best to ever do it. What do you think about Luka's game? Does he deserve the praise, respect, and admiration that NBA legends gave him? Will he end up being one of the greatest players of all time? Leave us your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and smash that notification bell button so you'll be updated to more basketball-related content. 
have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.